Welcome to Naras Technologies. I am Bangaraju and uh, this is part 5 video of delegates. Uh, in this video, uh, I want to just demonstrate about uh, some predefined generic delegates. Some predefined generic delegates. What are the predefined generic delegates? Actually, we have three predefined delegates that are available for us. Uh, one is the funk delegate, funk, the name itself is funk, action delegate, and the third one is a predicate. These are three predefined delegates. Uh, actually, they are defined in the base class libraries. So, how can we use them? Let me just demonstrate. I had a class here and my class name is generic delegates. So, in this, I want to write a method public static double add nums of 1. So, I want to add three numbers here int x and the second number I want to take is a float, float y. And the third number I want to take it as a double. And now writing here written x plus y plus z. And the same method I am just writing it one more time. But now I want it to be a void method. So here it's a value returning method, and here it is a non-value returning method. So, the first one returns a value and the second one does not return a value, straight away prints the result for us. And also, another method public static bool check length for which I want to take a string as a parameter. And now, while calling this method, we pass a string. If the length of the string is going to be uh, greater than 5 characters, I just want to return true, otherwise I want to return false. So, simple logic here, if str dot length greater than 5, if it is greater than 5, simply I want to say return true, otherwise return false. So, uh, it checks for the length and returns and I want to call these three methods by using the delegates. So, if you want to call the three methods by using the delegate, what you require to do first is, first you are just required to define three delegates. Come on, let us define public delegate double delegate 1 should take three parameters index, float f and double z and double z and the second one is also going to be similar. But here we are going to have written type as a void delegate 2 and third one a delegate 3. But this is going to take a string as a parameter, string str, and the written type is going to be a bool. So, define three delegates, and using these three delegates, I wanted to call the three methods. So, let us come to the main method now static void main. Yeah, first, uh, the first method add nums 1. I want to call it by using the delegate 1. So, let us instantiate delegate 1 obj1 is equals to new delegate 1. And now, if you remember, we just been learning in the previous videos, like when you are just going to call, it will tell you the method, the target method should have a written type of double. And uh, very importantly, it should take three parameters. What are the three parameters? One int, one float, and one double. So, our first method, what is that? Uh, add nums of one matches with the signature. So, let us just use it here. Or without all those things, we can directly also bind. Straight away, we can bind this. And now, let us go for calling it. The written type is double. Double result is equals to obj1 dot invoke and just going to pass three values one integer value and then one float value and one double value so passing them three values and then console dot right line double result painting the things same way Delegate to obj2 is equals to add nums of 2 and call it. And uh, importantly, this does not return a value, this will print the value directly. Okay, so, directly obj2 dot invoke. 
and third one, third one returns a boolean value, bool um, some length or bool b status is equals to o, would not bind it, delegate 3, obj 3 is equals to, what is the method name, check length, yeah, and uh, obj 3 dot invoke and just passing a string value here, hello, and the length is not greater than 5, it should written false, console dot read line and let us run this. The third one think we did not print the result ok, we did not print the stats value there. Console dot right line stats, yeah we did not print the stats value and now we get it false and if at all I am going to pass a value string that is bigger in length. So, now I get true. So, three methods and to call the three methods we just been defined three delegates here. So, right now in the previous examples what we discussed also in the previous videos to invoke every method we are defining a delegate. So, the first uh, video where I showed you about the delegates I defined some delegates here. And when I explained the anonymous methods, I defined one delegate here. So, like this, we have been defined the number of delegates here. But actually, defining these delegates is not going to be mandatory. The reason is there are three generic delegates that are available for us. One is the func delegate, second one is the action delegate, and the third one is a predicate delegate. So, when do we use the func delegate? The func delegate is used when your method is going to return a value for a value returning method, a func delegate is used when you are going to have a value returning method. See this method is a value returning method. So, in such scenarios we can use the func delegate and what about action delegate? Action delegate is going to be used when your method is going to be void. If it is a non value returning method then we use the action delegate and third one predicate. What is this predicate? Predicate is a delegate. When do we use this is we are going to use this predicate delegate when we want the written type as a boolean. When we want a written type as a boolean, so compulsory boolean. In the first case you can tell your own type, but if a written type is boolean we are going to use the predicate delegate. Let us see how to use them. See let me delete all these three delegates now because I am going to use all the three generic delegates here. So, now we get an error in all the places. So, remove this and in this place now I am going to use my func delegate, func. If you watch out, it is a generic, generic type implementation here. So, what is this? When you just use the angle braces here, you can tell now what you wanted to pass. You see there are 17 overloads for the func delegate. So, the first one is out t results. What is it? You have a method that does not take any parameter, but going to return a value. Same way, a method with one input and one output, two inputs, one output, three, four, five like this, you will be having a method which is going to take 16 inputs and one output. So, total 17 methods, you can just see this, here you have 16 inputs and one output. And now, which one matches our requirement now? Our requirement can be fulfilled by using the fifth method I feel. Let us see, yeah, the fifth, the fourth method, the fourth method where we have three inputs and out, one output, three inputs and one output. And now here, the T1, T2, T3, you can tell what type of value you want to pass as input now. So, T1, so what is the, the first parameter? What you passed? Int second parameter float, third parameter is a double comma and what is the result type you are expecting? The result type you are expecting here is a double, double. So, now if you just understand the meaning of this particular thing, it exactly matches with our method. What is it? Int is the first parameter and the float here what we have here is the second parameter and the double what we have here is the third parameter. And the return type is a double remember and here we are going to pass this double as an output. So, these three are inputs and this is going to be an output.
this is going to be an output. So, now once the execution of the method is completed, it is going to give you the result. See, delete it, new the fun delegate and when you watch it, it will ask you, you can pass a method that is going to have, it is the delegate that is going to have int float double as input and the double as the output. The last value will be taken as a output here and the first three are inputs and the last one is the output like this internally 16 inputs can be taken. Uh, we are given with that many number of options 16 inputs up to 16 it has given us and one output. So, here we can just pass the method. So, no need to write all these things straight away we can write our method. What is the method? Our method is add nums of 1. So, this is what func delegate is. So, generally we are defining the delegate still now. So, now onwards we never require to define a delegate. We can use the func delegate if your method is value written. No, no, my method is non value written. So, then we should use a action delegate. What is the difference? Nothing. In func delegate, you will have input parameters. Uh, along with this, you will have one output parameter. But here, output is void, non-value returning. All are inputs only. Come on, let us use the action delegate here. We should use action delegate. Why? The method num2, add nums2 is going to be void. I cannot use the func delegate here. So, what should I use is a action delegate. So, let us give it action and exactly the same thing you see, but now you will find 16 methods. Why 16 methods? Because we do not have any outputs at all, all are inputs. Same see, input, two inputs, three inputs. Like this, we are being defined with n number of methods in this particular place now. So, right now the last method is taking you 16 inputs, no output because it is predefined as void. So, right now exactly I am going to pass the same thing. What is it? Int float double, but, but I do not require to pass the fourth parameter here. I do not require to pass the fourth parameter here. The reason is there is an output and we do not have an output at all. Return type is not there for us. All are parameters only, input parameters all the three is equals to add num sub 2. So, like this we are just going to use the action delegate and third one predicate. When we use this predicate, we use this predicate when the return type of the method is going to be a boolean. See here, our method's return type is boolean and because the method return type is boolean, compulsory it is boolean only, we can just use this, this uh, predicate delegate now. So, right now in this place, we can use a predicate now. Predicate and you just notice it, you can tell the input, input type. There are no overloads here, a single uh, one here. Input type. What is the input type? The input type I want is a string and no need to tell the output type. Output type is predefined that is bool. You can change that and you run this, you get the same output. We get the same output. So, this is what without defining the delegates explicitly, we can make use of the three predefined delegates. When we use the func delegate, func delegate is used if the method is a value writing method. What about parameters? You can tell up to 16 input parameter options it has given. An action delegate is used when your method is a non value writing method and here also we have option up to 16 input parameters and the third one is a predicate delegate. Predicate delegate can take only a single parameter and return type is going to be fixed that is bold. You can change this. See in place of predicate delegate, we can also use the func delegate. How simple you can use string as an input comma and you can tell the output now. What is the output a string comma and the output is going to be a bool string comma bool. I can use a func delegate here. How can I use a func delegate? Func string comma bool just can specify the string comma bool. So, like this we can just use a func delegate in this place also and fulfill the requirements. We can use a func delegate and also fulfill the requirement. But generally when the return type is going to a bool, they ask us to use a predicate delegate. Predicate and no need to specify the return type because the return type is fixed that is bool. We can still simplify this code here by using anonymous methods. What is it? If you just watched up the anonymous methods and lambda expressions video what I just posted earlier, 
you do not require to write a named method without writing the named method you can straight away come here and just specify that x comma y comma z then use a lambda operator open the curly braces and you can write the logic what you implement here return x plus y plus z and then you can delete this method so we are combining our lambda expressions in this place same way we can do here yeah, coming here x comma y comma z use a lambda expression and implement the logic in this place oh, copy it there straight away we can write this and delete this and come over here what are you going to tell str and then a lambda operator and delete the method delete the method and now we again get the same result here so we just uh, removed of the delegates we removed of the methods also directly we went for using the anonymous methods along with the lambda expression directly lambda operator and use it and see here our code is simple statement like this we can still simplify this without writing all this curly braces single line of code because the single line of code even if we try to write like this it executes and here here also we have a single line of code no need this curly braces straight away write console dot write line and remove this code so here we are going to have some more lines of coding here. So, now if str dot length is greater than 5, return true. If you say try to write like this, we get an error because the code volumes are more here. So, better what you can just uh, write over here is just the normal mechanism like our previous one because in the previous example there is only a single line of code and straight away try to cut short the code by try to remove in the curly braces but here you are writing not a single line of code you are just writing some more lines of coding so just follow the process like this so that our logic will be inside and executes okay so generally when you have single lines of code in such scenarios directly write off the code here no need to again go for using the curly brace and all and now also we get the same result this is about the three predefined delegates what we have so from the next time if at all there is a need of a delegate never go for defining a delegate either use a func delegate or a action delegate or a predicate delegate it depends upon the method is a value written or a non value written method based on that we can just use the func action pre predicate delegates which are predefined for us thank you for watching the video for more videos please subscribe to our youtube channel naresh it Thank you.